Hey lads and lasses, we're Vaping Cars. I'm Michael. I'm George. And today we're reviewing the iVogel Flybone. We've got the iVogel Flybone here, and we're going to break it down, get it inside, and get close and personal to it. Obviously, the packaging, we, we had to open it to take a look, so it doesn't come badly wrapped like this, so let's get into it. Oh, that's some nice wrapping. Right, that wait. Right, so on the sides here, you meant to have a security tick, uh, sticker here, uh, anti-tamper. On the back of the box, you've got iVogo. On the side, anti-tamper. Again, nothing on the bottom. You got a short description on the bottom of the device of the box, and obviously at the front you can see clearly the device. Now let's opening the open this box. Ooh, la, la, la. And straight in, let's pick this bad boy out. It comes up in this little sweet packet type thing. Put that to the side. And at the bottom, you've got a little box. Let's get that box out. Move this to the side, and let's take a look at the goodies that we get in here. Pop that open, and let's get all the content out. Oh, is that it? That's it. All right, that's the box. Very lovely. Whoop, out the way. Then you get a nice big goodie bag. In this, in this goodie bag, you will see. Let me just take, ooh, take all the goods out. Right, you've got uh, the five ten. Oh. Ah. What we've got here is the drip tip adapter. Very lovely. Uh, Dell ring. You got a few O-rings in here to replace uh, if any of them go wrong. Get that out of the way. You've got four screws, and these screws are massive, like the heads of them. Fantastic! Look at that. That's what quality screws. And last but not least, we've got the formidable screwdriver. But this time, it's a flathead. I've never seen one of these before. Look at that. Magnificent, it's brand new, it's a new edition, flathead version of it, fantastic. Moving all that rubbish out the way, let's get into the main feature. <sighs> Can't get it out! Oh. oh, there we go, move that plastic out of the way, and there we go, we've got the Flybone iVogo Dripper. Look at it, fantastic, look at that labeling at the front, it looks so fantastic. Here we have the flybone, all disassembled. There's the deck. We have a big flathead screws on the top. They're big, 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 big holes for your wires. You easily can put a clapton, maybe even two claptons on the same hole. Uh, we have big head holes as well. I don't know if you guys can see it. They're pretty big, wide. The deep one. Yep. We have the air hole, the air entrance right here, one one side, the other one on the other side. Deep well, it's narrow because of the you know, the way the system is built. The air comes from underneath, but it's very deep and uh, well, as big as it can be with this air flow system. Uh, center post is dual, as most drippers are. Negative posts are milled into the deck, so they're part of the, the whole thing. Uh, dual O ring, so that's good. Uh, we have a bit of knurling here, so it's easier to take the barrel out when you have it outside the mod. We have some engraving on the bottom. We have, let me just turn it around. We have iVogo, Flybone, and our serial number is uh, 808. There's still space for two more digits. Uh, the center pin is brass. We scratch it to see what it was. It's silver plated brass. Well, it's not bad, silver plated. What else? We have the outer barrel. It's got a really nice engraving in here. Let's try and show you. Oh, show you the engraving. It's really nice. Got this skull thing and it says I Vogel Flybone, really nice engraving, some wings on the side. We have the option for dual airflow. Dual. Just there and across. Or you have a single one as well. If you want to do your use your single ones. Uh, we have the top cap. This fits in there. We have a turbine. This trip has a turbine, kinda like the turbo. And it, Yep, makes that noise. We have the glass drip tip, and we have our own drip tip adapter in case we want to use our own drip tips. Now let's put it all together. Let's go and oh, before that, we have to do our magical build, isn't it? All right, let's try a magical build. One, two, three. 
there we go we have a build-in uh we're using g plat this time first time we're using it so uh what else don't mind about the darkness of the coil because it's a g plat uh, what else were we, we missed talking? Uh, the length of it is 48 millimeters, is a 22 millimeter width uh, dripper, and the material is all 304 stainless steel. So some high grade tree right there. Yeah, let's just finish building it up. So all you do is just slide the barrel on. We have dual setup, so we're using the dual thing. You can adjust it. I got, see the knurling? It's pretty handy. And surprise, surprise, there's knurling on the top bit as well. So, as and we're doing the review, we're going to use all the bits of it. We're going to use the fan, turbo fan, just slides in like that. To take it off is a bit harder, but you can always push it from there with Why you. would you want to take off the turbo, man? You might not want Naturally to use it. It's just an it. option. Just bear in mind, it's not like the turbo. The turbo, where you have to have it. This is just an option in case you want it. Just click it in. Very easy to put in. Off. Knurling on the top as well. Really nice. And your glass drip tip. If you want to use your own drip tip, just take the glass bit off and slide in that bit. So we're gonna use the glass bit. We like it nice and wide. Wide, big one. Look at that. This is gigantic. Another Chicholino uh, tank. Uh, dripper. dripper. <laughs> <laughs> yep, and that's it for the close and personal. My Curs here has a new thought of making the builds, and uh, he got. He had two of these, and we done, he done like little figure of eights. And he thought, oh look, we can make a double barrel uh, coil. So we did, again, got his coil, got one end, two ends, and he stuck it in. And when you take it out, you, you end up with, I don't know if you can see, we'll take a picture of it, you're going to see it. Yeah, it's just a prototype idea, if someone wants to do it. So it's a dual yeah. coil. No, it's a single coil. It's a single coil, but double barreled. So the top two one wicks, on top of each two other. Two wicks on one yeah. coil, basically. Oh my gosh, it's firing double barrel. Look at that fireworks. I didn't take a picture of that. Yeah, because you have like three wraps on the top, three wraps on the bottom, but it's still the same coil. But you have two wicks. Yeah. So you have double the liquid. We're still, we're still, this is on our prototype. We need to get an airflow in between so it can pass through. Okay. So what we're thinking about is just spreading it out, having double barrels with straight through valves, and it vapes like a beast. Um, look at that. Holy crap, what, three, three wraps on either side, mate. Six wraps in total. I have a bit of my, uh, Watermelon! I don't want watermelon. Watermelon! This is really good flavor. Where is it from? It's called Babies from the Ace of Vapors. And I'm using Legacy Suit and Tie. Vapes, sorry. Ace of Vapors. Really good. I like it. Ooh. We can have a vape on the double barrel, sir. Lord. Yes, you can, sir. Go ahead, Lord Michael. It's very flavorful. Very flavorful. So, we're talking about negatives. Yeah, now the cons. Uh, the cons that I found, what was it? Uh, for me, was the, you know, the fan, the turbo fan. Uh, I opened it up because the fan was getting a bit stuck sometimes. So, I opened it up because the fan kind of splits apart. You have the fan and everything. It was a little imperfection. You know when they press mold the plastic, you have that little, that little bit of plastic just sticking out. I just scraped it off and now it's yeah, going around beautifully. So that was it. Another flaw I found, uh, attention to detail. Really, uh, you have to be like pure OCD for this one. When you fit this barrel onto your beer, um, when you slide it on, the air holes at the bottom, when you push it all down, line it up, if you look closely into the actual barrel, oh sorry, into the air uh, intakes. Even though this is pushed really down, you can see a little bit of metal showing from the deer on either side. I'm talking about it is a nano freaking atoms. Oh, not it's not that small, but it's noticeable. When you look at it, you see that piece of metal where it doesn't fit all the way in. You see that top section of the intake um, of the. Uh, 
it doesn't, it's not fitted on properly. So, attention to detail on the beer. Any uh, other negatives? Ne yes. Negatives about it? Uh, the barrel. I see the, the knurling. Pretty good to take the thing off without the mug. It's a bit crunchy when you put it in. Mm. Let me try and put it slow, because now it's a bit lube. A bit lube. Oh. You have it's a bit crunchy there. It's a tight one there. It is, she's a really tight one, but... No, it goes alright. It's nothing major, but... Good. It's not as smooth as you want it to be. Because to be fair, there's not a lot of cons with this device, so we just... Nitpicking. Yeah. Big time. Why not? <laughs> if you like perfection, attention to detail, what else we are going into it. What else was it? The, the, leak, the leakage, of course it happens, but we can't really con it because it's... You just don't overfill it. It's just the way it is. It's like a freak show or a... What's it called? A Mad Hatter? Yeah. The positives of the... Positives? The positives. <laughs> okay, the positives. Alright. Positives of the pros of positives. I made a new word! Positives. Sir Lord Santos has come up with positives. The positives. The positives. Getting into the matter we were. Positives. Good at flow. Looks really good, I'm sorry. She's a wide one. Again, for me, I don't like it wide, but for him, he likes it wide. But it comes in a box, you've got the option. Optionality, if that's a word. You can have a wide mother, or you can ha put your own drip tip by putting the uh, 510 adapter, not 510 adapter, drip tip adapter. Yeah, I like it like this. I don't like it like that. I have a really low ohm building here, so I'm like, wow, you need, I need the air. What else? Uh, there's nothing really bad to say about this. We're talking about positives. Yeah, so it's got the deep juice well. It got deep juice wells. The good flavor, good screws, massive holes for your wire. Post does it's round, but it didn't went around any time. So you can put thick platinum coals in there, no problem whatsoever. You can clamp it down with a screwdriver because it's got it's some thick mothers on top, for big heads. Then they grab the wire really, really good. You know when it's tight because it stops. It doesn't like. Is it on or is it off? Is it timid or does it wobble? No, off, on. It's screwed or it's unscrewed. It's yeah, it's was formal. It, and it didn't cut the wires as well. It was just because the again it's it. got a really thick, yeah. wide surface area. Uh, you can do the option to do single coil if you wish. So again, yeah. And these days it's really starting to be hard to find a single coil drill because everything yeah. is dual or quad or octa coil nowadays as well. Why right? not? Just why not? Yeah. What else? Yeah, it's good. It's good all around. I can't really fault it. Have we vaped it yet? No, not yet. Good flavor. You like the flavor of it? Once you close the airflow a little bit. Yeah, it's good flavor. Makes clouds. Is it chucker? Is it choo-choo train? You have the option to take the fan out or leave it on. Yeah, silver plated engraving is all nice. How much is it? Oh, it was seventeen pounds ninety-five. That's not cheap. Eighteen pounds, let's say. Eighteen pounds for a dripper for a uh, Mad Hatter slash Mad Hatter slash Turbo, turbo. Sl uh, slash uh, what's the other one? Uh, Freak Show. So you're getting three in one. Three in one. They've they've got all the positives of the other things and they yeah. just bleh, molded one. it into one, and so you're getting three drippers for the price of seventeen pound ninety-nine pence. That's where really can you go wrong? Tell me. Yeah. Like you can, tell me on the comments. Where are you going to go wrong? Yeah, seventeen pounds ninety nine. Why not? Th that's what you pay for the clone. This is not a clone. Yeah, that's an official original. This is a original piece. Now we're vambling. Vambling. We're vambling. Compare it to side by side. Let's take this bit off. Well, inside, if you look at it from the top, it looks identical. You've got that turbo thingy mabob inside it. It looks yeah. identical, but one is black and one is silver. Yeah, so similar this one. Similarities. Similarities. Oh, no, similarities. The right at the bottom. My pattern or the, the freak show has got the same system. Yeah. So, best thing out of this one, best thing out of that one, and best thing out of whatever they picked up the stuff from. The knurling, I don't know where they picked it up from. Mm. That's really nice. And the insides, you've got the massive uh, 
screw, screw post, and massive post, post, post holes. Good. That's yeah. all good. Oh, let's give it a vape, isn't it? I haven't done a vape yet. Would you like some lube? Would you uh, say? like some lube? Could be alright. That was only at 60 watts. Hmm. Uh, you know what I want them to come up with? You got, look, they've done the flavour, they've done the clouds. I want them to somehow implement colourful vapour. Like a nice, uh, like a vivid blue or pink or purple. Yeah, that's gonna add colourings and whatever. To I don't mind. I do. Uh, but still, but imagine that. Just really co multi colourful clouds come out of your mouth. That is so awesome. This is not quitting cigarettes anymore. This is just. 60 watts. 60 watts vapour. Could hear the fan going. Woo! If you guys are familiar with Honda engines, they got VTEC. This just did VTEC. The turbo was like. Woo! It just hit VTEC. Oh my. It's much quieter than the turbo. It is. But wow, you can feel it pushing extra vapor into your esophagus. Esophagus? What's that thing? Esophagus. So esophagus. Esophagus. You shouldn't push air into the esophagus. It Check that vapor out. Check that out. Just look at it. Look, are you watching? Please tell me you're watching it. <laughs> it's so easy. You can do a really slow drag and the fan just does, does the work for you. I don't need to do that competition. <laughs> There's no need for that. I feel lightheaded now. I wonder why. That was 60 watts. Let's bump it up. 100? No. So no. Let's go to 80. 80. And that's pushing up what? 2.90. Oh, 3.09 volts. Should we juice it? No. Yo, no, that's fine. That's juicy. Juice that baby. Good. Wow. Fantastic. What calls was that? What was it G flat? Yeah, G flat. G flat. It's currently twenty four gauge G flat. Is zero point eleven ohms. How many reps have you got them in there? Uh, seven reps on dual at a, in a three millimeter bit. I put my lips onto the middle section. That was quite warm, but the glass really, it actually insulates the heat quite well. Better than... Um, and the fan does the job as well, cools down the vapor. What's that thing called? Nerling. No, no. Ah. Delring. Delring. It actually insulates better than Delring for some magical reason. But there's lots of con condensation. The fan, the on fan the is also cooling it down a little. Mm, another update. And the fan also serves as a sp uh, spit back protection thing. I watched this program. What's it called? Um, Naruto. And he got like rope, and it was like, and he stopped the rain from hitting oh, yeah. his head. So that's basically what it's doing. The fan is hitting the droplets from penetrating your mouth, but it allows the Airflow, vapor flow from hitting it. I'll mute now. I'll be quiet. <laughs> but yeah, good idea. Instead of putting mesh. Yeah, the so, only downside is you have to take the cap off. Yeah, and then lining it up and hearing that <laughs> noise. Take, you take the cap off. Try a little bit without the fan. Let's do without the fan. It's a bit We're gonna, hard to take it off. Ah, there you go. So it's going to be naturally aspirated. <laughs> Yep. Ooh, what a noise. Mmm, that tastes flavorful. That's pretty sweet. I know. Again. Shouldn't, shouldn't be eating this. I guess we, we don't, I'm not here to, I don't get free liquid or anything like that, but babies from the Ace of Vapes, Vapes, it's really good. I like it. My favorite one so far. It's really sweet. I like my sweet flavors though. I don't like it too sweet. I get it's a bit of, of it. watermelon and strawberry. Strawberry. It vapes. It vapes. So there's no fan now. Does it vape? Yep, that is vaping quite well. Let's try it a bit. Natural. Naturally aspirated. Oh, you got. I put this one. You put that one. What a mixture no, is going in here. Did you put that? Yep. Yeah. 
Oh, sweet. Yeah, you had that one first. No, this is just a tutti frutti concoction. Tutti frutti? We have a tutti frutti. Not making fun of any Scottish accent, but it sounds like tutti frutti. Tutti frutti, mate. Just give me the tutti. Oh, I'll put it on single mode. Do not want some of that. Single mode. Not ideal for this, man. Smooth. Very smooth. Yeah. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Thumbs up. I can't fault it. Apart from the... What's it called? Nicky picky, picky Nicky. The, the, the attention to detail. But apart from that, it's up for £17.99. 18 come pounds. On. 18 pounds. Come on. That's really good. For me, well good, man. Yeah, compare this to the Velocity, which is like favorite of everyone. It looks good. I like it. It looks like a freaking tattoo. It's really nice. For the price, original. It's really, a really nice dripper. We're vaping cuz. I'm Michael. I'm George. Thank you for watching. Bye bye. Ciao. I am the pure breed of vaping cuz. Because without me, I'm not vaping cuz. I'm just Michael. So I've changed my name legally to Sir. I actually have Sir. Lord. Sorry, Lord. Sorry, Lord. Vaping car. Oh, Lord of Vaping cuz. I shot Lord of Vaping cuz. Boom! I thought that was a drink as well. Flip it out. <laughs> <laughs> We are Lord Vaping Curs. Our shop is gonna be <sighs> Sir Lord Vaping Curs. Because without Vaping Curs is no Lords, and I'm not a Lord without Vaping Curs. Vaping is my life. Was that necessary, Lord? Oh my god, please do not break our equipment, because that's all we have.